Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be my reading goals for 2024. So it's the 28th of December when I'm filming this and today this little beauty arrived all the way from Canada. It is my 2024 reading planner. Um, I've actually bought the undated version this year uh, because I felt that the layout of the undated version would probably suit me better than the two dated versions that uh, Megan does. Uh, this is produced by Little Inkling Designs um, and this undated version is going to be available all year round, uh, the same as her novel companions that she does, um, wh whereas the dated versions are sold until they run out. Um, <clears throat> I am going to attempt to use this weekly and monthly um, so that I don't fall behind with anything and I have gone ahead and been doing some setting up this morning. One of the parts of the setting up that I've done is the goals page. So I'm going to talk you through the goals that I've set up. So here is my goals page. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to read it um, from there. But these are all the reading goals I have set for myself. Uh, there are eight goals in total. And I'm going to talk you through them all. So the first three goals are very, three very simple goals. They are just the straightforward ones for the year. The first one is how many books I plan on reading and... The same as last year, I'm going to set that at 75 books. I feel that this is completely reasonable for me. Um, I read between um, four and ten books a month sometimes. So 75 is a good number for me. It is achievable. Although for me, I don't stress if I don't hit the goal because it just means that life happened. The second one is the number of pages I'd like to get to this year and again same as last year I'm not making any changes and I want to read 25,000 pages minimum. And finally the third main goal is to listen to 100 hours of audio. I have quite a few audiobooks on my TBR which you will know if you've seen my audiobook TBR video I'll leave it linked in the cards. Um, but yes, I want to get some of that um, whittled down this year. So again, I want to try and read 100 hours. Kind of an offshoot of uh, the 25,000 pages is I have set a goal in um, Storygraph because you can set daily or weekly or however you want um, page goals as well. And I have set myself the target of reading 350 pages a week um, which is an average of 50 pages a day so I'd like to be able to try to stick to that and keep that uh, weekly streak going um, I'm doing quite well I set that um, a couple of months ago and so far so good the next goal is a two-part goal and that is to continue uh, reading and moving forward with the series that I've already got in progress um, and to uh, try and reduce that number as much as possible. I still have a lot of series in progress um, but this year I have instead of putting them all in my want to read list I've selected a number of them um, just under half of them and those are the ones that I'm going to try and make progress with because there's quite a few of those where there's maybe only one book left um, and I could easily remove that from the series in progress list and the second part of that is to also continue reducing my TBR because if I continue with the series that I've picked out I will be reducing my TBR um, but I have a lot at the point that I'm filming this I have 479 I think um, I can't I'm, I'll, I'll pop the number here in editing um, but yes I have almost 500 books um, and I've been I've brought it I've only brought it down a small amount 
so following on from that is this year I'm going to continue trying to be intentional about my book purchases. For quite a number of years now I have been trying to think carefully about the books that I buy um, and to try not to buy books that are just going to sit on my TBR. My TBR on my e-reader, um, you should have seen that video before this goes up, uh, but I have 369 unread books on there that are new to me books that I've never read before and I went through a long phase of just randomly buying books without really thinking about why I was buying them when I was going to read them would I ever have time to read them and I would always just go looking for the next read um, instead of looking what I already had so I'm trying to pull that back I have attempted book buying bans and they just don't work for me because it puts it in my head that, you know, I can't have this book. And I'm one of those people that if there's something you tell me not to do, I'm going to have a go at doing it. And telling me not to buy books, that's, um, yeah, shouldn't do that. Uh, so yeah, so it's just going to be be more intentional. It will be a case of if there's if there's a book series, so up here... Uh, up here I've got A Time of Dread by John Gwynn. I haven't read it yet, um, but I'm not going to buy the rest of that series until I've read that one, and only then will I buy the rest of the series if I'm enjoying it, and things like that. Or it will be books that I have thoroughly enjoyed, and I want to have a copy on my shelves. Um, I know for definite there is a book coming out in February that I'm going to want to read as soon as it comes out, because it's the second book in a series. But the reason I've ordered the... Uh, version of it that I have is so that it will match um, the first book in the series that I already have on my shelves. As part of the being more intentional um, I do pay for a monthly Kindle Unlimited subscription which I don't use to its fullest. Um, what I'm going to try and do is as part of the continuing series I'm going to try and use Kindle Unlimited to reduce the number of books in series uh, that I can um, but I'm also going to explore more genres um, because at the moment I pretty much only get romance books um, but I'm going to have a look and see what there is in the way of fantasy and crime fiction as well um, because at least then if I'm using my Kindle Unlimited subscription I'm getting my money's worth but also I'm not adding I'm, it, I will be tending to borrow a book that I want to read there and then instead of actually uh, ha buying a book and then leaving it sitting because I don't have to give it back. I did say last year I tried to use my library more um, but unless unless what unless my library has what I want right there and then um, it doesn't really work for me because I'm a mood reader um, and I don't have time to go and browse the library every time I want a new book to read so I do find using the library but I will use the library where I can. The seventh goal is to read all my book club choices unless I'm reading them and they are a genuine DNF. Um, I've been getting better, I was much better in 2023, I think there was only maybe one or two that I didn't read and those um, were probable dnfs rather than i know one of them definitely was a dnf or i just really did not have time to pick it up and read it and I, or i left it too late um but i did read the majority of them this year and i did join in with the majority of the um meetings that we hold once a month um so yes so i'm going to try and read all 12 i'm going to make an attempt to read all 12 in 2024 and then my final one, and this is the most important one, and it is something that I will impress on all of you watching, and that is to read for fun. Don't put pressure on myself to read, um, and just let myself read when I want to. Um, primarily, I'm a mood reader, uh, but I, I can follow a set TBR at times, um, but mostly I mood read. Um, but I do feel like sometimes, so these are goals, 
if I achieve them, I achieve them. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to stress about it. Reading is not meant to be stressful. It is meant to be enjoyable. It is meant to give you a break from everything else that is going on around you and just give you a little slice of time when your mind is not focused on anything else and it's just focused on something you enjoy. Uh, so I'm going to continue trying to keep reading for fun, take the pressure off of reading. I'll probably try not to join in with too many readathons this year um, because I find that that does put pressure on my reading. There's um, two in January that I'm taking part in, but they are no pressure readathons. Um, and one of those is one that will go on throughout the rest of the year. But you know what? I probably won't take part in any more other than that one ongoing one. So those are all my goals for the year. Have you set any goals for 2024? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for um, other goals to add to my ever-growing list. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.